Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. This video is specifically about the fitting of the quad lock USB charger underneath whatever phone you happen to have and really how easy it is to do yourself. Even if you've never taken your tank off before, it's no big deal. It's usually just a couple of bolts. You just have to be pretty careful with what you're doing. You don't have to lift it off. You just have to be able to get at the frame underneath so that you've got somewhere nice to cable tie the cable from the USB charger down to your batteries in your underneath your seat. Civil rights, you demand that I eternize your name. Walk ahead. Mm -hmm. You cover us in shame, and I take the blame. Living by the rules, team which high school blues. Walk ahead.
Right, Farmer Chris, how is your USB? The USB is awesome, it works fabulous. It's um, charging quite well. Um, no problems, none whatsoever. Excellent. The USB charger is attached underneath where the phone goes, but on top of the dampener. Cable is rooted down the headstock. 
and follow some existing wiring, making sure that you've got some free play behind the headlight here, quite a bit of free play. So it comes down through the frame. You can see it here coming out underneath the tank and it goes right behind the frame. Follows existing wiring, this cable tied to existing wiring and comes up in the battery bin. As you can see, this is the plug for the quad lock USB charger. So if you've got any other accessories that plug into this, then it's just a case of unplugging the USB charger and plugging into plugging into this port. Pretty handy. The only thing to do with this lead, because it's just sitting loosely in this compartment due to restrictions obviously on the bit that's attached to the battery terminals, is to make sure that it's in a location where it can't get hooked up onto the underside of the seat. And I don't want to cable tie it down. I want to leave it loose. Got an extra port here, which is probably used for diagnostics. I just want to use that to try and keep this lead flat. That's it, neat, tucked away. And the finished setup on the front, making sure that the bottom of the USB charger is facing downhill for water. And even though it says in the instructions and information that you don't have to worry about when you're washing it, I just want to make sure that there's no chance of any water flooding into that. And that is essentially it. The reason we chose a USB charging port instead of a, uh, one of the flat quad lock charging ports is because we can plug multiple things in uh, if necessary. And uh, although it would be pretty difficult to charge some things such as GoPros, it means the option is there um, should it be needed rather than just a dedicated phone charging port. Um, it's been really easy to fit simple and it's more of a trickle charger uh, than a full-blown you know high high powered heavy duty charger but it certainly maintains the charge on the phone for the ride um, with having the foresight helmet turned on we found that the gps on the foresight app was draining the battery uh, on the phone really really quick so this just means that it makes life a whole lot easier uh, when using the GPS and the Foresight helmet and you don't have to worry about the phone running out of charge when you're most likely to need it in the event of an emergency, etc. So easy to do, highly recommended, anybody can do it. We can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs>